So tonight we are looking at the future of the Eastern Hills Mall as yet another big store announces it will be closing there. Sears will be closing its store at the Eastern Hills Mall, which it opened there back in 1970. It will leave Sears with only one store on the Niagara frontier now, and we sent Channel 2's Dave McKinley out to see how this will impact the future plans of the mall's relatively new owners. Ordinarily, the closure of an anchor tenant just months after another one would spell real problems for a mall and its owners left to scramble to fill large spaces. That's if the plan was to continue as a conventional mall. But Uniland, in partnership with New Jersey-based Mountain Development, purchased this mall six months ago with plans to transform the property into a town center where people will not only work and shop but live as well. In fact, Uniland completed the purchase of the Sears store here separately last week, giving it another 20 acres to work with. The time is right, that there is demand in the community for this type of development, and Western New York doesn't have it yet. As shoppers change their patterns toward online sales, retailers have struggled to maintain their brick and mortar stores. This place was no exception. And while one might presume every mall will have to transform itself along these lines, it may not be possible everywhere. I think a lot of it depends on where the property is situated, the surrounding demographics, uh, how eager the municipality is to uh, see it transformed into something you know, higher and better use. After gaining the needed zoning changes from the town of Clarence last month, Uniland is now in the process of finding the right consultant to push the project ahead. Who are going to engage in market research and financial feasibility of a town center development project. To tell them how many homes, how many stores, which ones, how many restaurants, hotels, or attractions, and of what type. But is this a case of if you build it, they will come, or they will come if you build it? It's really a combination of both. You have to listen to retailers and restaurant tours and find out what it is they want. You have to go out and do studies and focus groups with the, the community that you're trying to serve and find out what they want. And it turns out you pretty much have to do that at the same time, which sounds daunting, although Uniland doesn't view it that way. And that's where the fun begins, which is trying to put all these parts and pieces together so that it works for everybody. But the total transformation of this property as Uniland envisions is still several years away. So between now and then, they say they will try and lease the Sears store because they don't want a hulking empty store as part of this property in the interim. They do concede, though, that may be rather tricky because they're going to have to find a tenant who understands that if they sign a lease, what they're occupying may be significantly altered, if not eliminated entirely in the future. Reporting live from the Eastern Hills Mall, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.